So this presentation today is a shortened version of my dissertation uh, entitled the responses to staff online training in a tertiary education institution during the time of COVID-19 restrictions, which was submitted this year. Um, so this presentation is called the future solutions for online training based on COVID-19 experiences, helping to grow technological practices and academics. And I'm Fiona McConnell. So um, when we look at the sort of the background and problem, um, I currently work as a digital skills training officer supporting staff in the use of technologies in their teaching practices, for example, the virtual learning environment. Now, during the pandemic, where previous support perhaps was given face to face, this had to suddenly shift to using only online methods such as Teams. So this study looked at this period and, and the effects and potential benefits of using online methods for conducting training. So during the lecture review, uh, I looked at online methods, which included Microsoft Office Teams and its features, and also the uh, Office 36 package, which included PowerPoint, Word, Outlook. Um, I also expanded that to look at the ever popular uh, other virtual companies and software, such as Zoom, and also Google Meeting and Cisco WebEx Meetings. Um, I also explored um, experiences of others delivering training and obviously trying to invite staff to attend events, uh, with some choosing not to use technologies um, in their academic practice. I also expanded that to look at the influence of COVID-19 restrictions uh, and the effects it had on both staff and students. Now, this also included a, a major shift in teaching practice while trying to maintain classes and learn to use technologies and teach at the same time. Now, I think it's really difficult to maybe think back or maybe know, um, you know, COVID restrictions were implemented overnight and we had no idea for how long or what the impact that would have, again, whilst trying to retain um, some sort of normality. Looking at the challenges um, for professionals and services staff, um, there's only a, a sort of a few number of academic staff perhaps would be contacting uh, them for assistance. However, overnight, this completely changed uh, and almost all academic staff were looking for support, especially in using virtual conferencing softwares. There was also changes in the working environment from being on campus to being at home, which meant challenges with hardware, where to put it, you know, your laptop monitor, it was getting chucked into a spare room, and um, others were perhaps sitting up in a kitchen table. This, in turn, when looking at literature, uh, developed into what called panic auditory. And this was due to the very changeable nature, um, I guess, of the panic-like state of trying to sort of teach, use new technologies, and also the restrictions, um, looking at, you know, being sort of forced to live and work in the same place with your partners and children. Um, this was in a backdrop of the changes and updates of ever-changing with regards to the virus, which needs to be on the news and also perhaps on social media. So the demographic methods, well, this only took place in one campus in a tertiary institution in Scotland. Uh, the university has 12 campuses and over 70 learning centres across the north of Scotland. So they are widely geographically positioned, uh, with some campuses smaller than others. So they do not have a dedicated support, perhaps from a training officer. Um, data collected, the themes were created using uh, reflective thematic analysis. Uh, a survey was sent. Uh, online anonymously to 76 uh, participants who attended uh, training events using online methods such as Teams. Uh, 25 responses were gathered uh, back from that. The, the survey was made up of Likert scale questions based on the topics the experiences staff had to the training and the influences COVID-19 had with any benefits in attending online events with an open question at the end just to gather any more detail and information that the person wished to add. With the qualitative data, um, three interviews took place uh, using WebEx meetings. Uh, the interview schedule was based on the sort of similar top areas that the survey did regarding the experience the staff had, the benefits, COVID-19, the influence that had in them, including pre-COVID and the use of technologies in their teaching practices. Looking at the data collected from the survey, uh, looking at the experiences of using Teams, um, 20 agreed that they had a positive experience using Teams during training, um, adding that 21 agreed um, instructions given by the trainer helped in any queries online were easy to follow. 
Looking at the effects of COVID-19 restrictions, it meant no in-person sessions could take place. So looking at the future, if, if asked, you know, if you know, staff would attend uh, further online sessions using Teams, the 17 agreeing, yeah, they would. However, the opposite end, there was one disagreeing. So from this, it seemed choice is very much key to staff of how they would attend any future training. However, using online methods such as Teams would be a viable option for some to use. Just looking at the benefits, uh, these were explored to see if online methods helped and this of using any other technologies or perhaps helping gaining confidence. So 19 agreed increased, increased their confidence in using other virtual conferencing software, such as our initially approved uh, WebEx meeting tool. Um, and also 17 said um, that it improved their own professional practices while working online. Just looking at the high level data which came in from uh, the open question for that, comments of missing interaction with others during training was noted and that technologies and just used were complex for them and the students. However, it was also noted that COVID-19 and the restriction had forced them to use technologies in teaching where previously they may have been apprehensive to do so uh, before. Um, out of the qualitative data, eight themes from the study uh, were generated uh, and some were split into uh, sub-themes. Now, during this presentation, we'll concentrate on two of the themes, which is theme three and theme four. Um, you'll see that theme four has been separated, um, and that really is because it supports perhaps the more disadvantages of using online methods and COVID-19 restrictions. So, theme three, an exhaust exhaustive shift to online, but handheld by immediacy, um, looks at the immediate shift to online and staff having to respond to that. So not only were they learning new technologies, but also the pedagogies to convert in-class materials to online ones. Now this in turn uh, was basically you know, looking at in-person practical sessions and moving these online uh, using WebEx meetings. So the support offered via Teams meant staff continue to work and adapt their teaching practices using new technologies confident with their students, noting uh, it felt like their hand had been held from the very beginning of the restrictions. Looking at theme four, uh, unreasonable obstacles to using technologies when the essence of teaching is face to face, looks at the various obstacles staff faced when trying to use technologies for the first time with students. It was also particularly challenging for them as we're undertaking the learning about using these technologies whilst using Teams new technology, where previously perhaps they would have attended at a face-to-face -face training event. Frustration was noted by the restrictions, meaning in-person sessions could only take place um, rather than obviously face-to-face, -to -face, finding online very difficult and impersonal. And this also mirrored their own students with them not wanting online classes due to the practical nature of the subject. And it was also noted that their, um, their own beliefs were students should be taught in person uh, and uh, as a face to face setting. Now, this obviously looked at the literature as well with the online persona and how it differed from the in person sort of tutor persona was explored in the review where educators perhaps struggled with these online identities versus their face to face ones, which suggests the training support needs to include more than just how to move the materials and teaching online. Um, for further research and discussions, that there were missed opportunities due to the time and scope. However, you know, basically exploring the results uh, perhaps more deeply from the staff interviewed, who really did focus quite a lot on the situations of using technologies with their students. Um, at the centre of these discussions are really rich examples using technologies with their students um, and further research perhaps should be looked at um, to explore this uh, with staff and a wider institutional population. Perhaps even look at the student perspective to look at the focus and the support they would receive in using technologies and apply this uh, in their learning. Again, this perhaps would give a more balanced perspective in the requirement of technology training for staff that directly links to the student capabilities and perhaps their technological needs as well. So just looking at the conclusions and recommendations. So the study looked at staff who are geographically you know, spread. Uh, including methods to engage with those staff who otherwise perhaps not participate in digital skills training. The themes generate and validate the continued use of teams to be used uh, to conduct the digital skills training, though 
in doing so, it does not automatically translate into attendance or the inclusion of technologies uh, with staff using this in their teaching practices. Um, it could mean that teams uh, using it with staff during training could grow their confidence, perhaps take one step forward into using it, perhaps teaching practice, or even perhaps uh, professionally uh, with their peers. Um, as the diagram suggests, future solutions for online training support should be done alongside uh, institutional aims and with staff and with what they want and what they need. So using Teams for training uh, would also benefit those geographically spread where institutions due to size, possibly allocation of funding, could not have an on-site trainer at all times where an online one could be provisioned instead. So this study offers suggestions that train support using face-to-face -face methods and teams to build digital competencies and confidence and using technologies could be effectively implemented. Just lastly, just a few slides here regarding references and thanks. 